Hello, and welcome to another installment of the Psychology of Better Call Saul, a series which attempts to understand the many psychological motivations of the characters in this television show. In this episode, I am going to take a closer look at the character of Lalo Salamanca and the ways in which the character seems to exhibit many symptoms constituting a psychological diagnosis of antisocial personality disorder. Lalo is an extremely disturbed individual who throws a wrench in the plans of many characters in the show, primarily due to his unpredictable and volatile nature. Antisocial personality disorder, also known as psychopathic personality disorder, is one of many personality disorders along with borderline, narcissistic, and schizotypal. A personality disorder can be defined as a deeply ingrained way of thinking, feeling, and behaving that is created over the span of a person's life. These ways of being are deviations from social norms which often lead to unfortunate circumstances and primarily cause problems with interpersonal relationships. Some of the symptoms of antisocial personality include lack of empathy for others, being highly manipulative and charismatic, having the inability to contour with social norms, repeatedly breaking the law, and more. In this video, I plan to detail the ways that Lalo fits these diagnostic criteria. With this information in mind, Let's get into the analysis. In Season 4, Episode 8, we are provided a first glimpse of Lalo. He has gone into the restaurant where Don Hector and Nacho have been working out of in previous seasons. Nacho is confused as he sees someone he doesn't know, and Lalo is making himself at home by preparing tacos on the chef's grill and playing loud music. Nacho comes to talk to him, and Lalo states that he'll be helping out for a while since he's good with numbers. Lalo has barely arrived, and he already seems to be taking control of the operations on this side of the border, not asking questions of anyone. He seems focused on becoming the new boss of the operation and putting everyone else under his wing. Nacho seems concerned, and rightfully so, as he has not been warned of Lalo's appearance beforehand. Lalo has no concern for the way things have been going or what plans of others might be. All that matters are his personal plans and desires. A characteristic pathogenic belief about self for psychotic individuals is, I can do whatever I want. Their characteristic orientation is towards seeking power for its own sake. They take pleasure in duping and manipulating others. In Season 4, Episode 9, Lalo goes to visit Hector in the senior home, seeing him for the first time since Hector's accident. Upon first impression, it seems that they have a caring relationship for each other, and maybe Lalo has a softer side. But as the conversation proceeds, they only share fond memories of torturing and hurting people in the past. They both seem to gain pleasure from reminiscing about these horrific acts. Lalo says he's sentimental about these memories and needed to take a souvenir which he brought back to Albuquerque for Hector. The souvenir turns out to be the bell, which will serve as a crucial plot device in the Breaking Bad storyline regarding Hector. As Hector rings the bell, Lalo seems to be getting some form of perverse joy from the act, most likely due to the way the bell reminds him of torturing and harming people. As Lalo leaves with Nacho, he says, Same old Hector, just wants to kill everybody. The fact that they have harmed people in the past doesn't seem to faze him one bit. Lalo does not care about what others feel, only the pleasure that he gains from the act. Psychopathic people feel anxiety less frequently and intensely than others. People with diagnosed antisocial personality disorder have a higher than normal craving for stimulation and may seek it addictively. They lack the empathy and moral center of gravity that, in people of other personality types, tames the striving for power and directs it towards socially valuable ends. In Season 4, Episode 9, Lalo goes to Los Poyos Hermanos with Nacho so that he can speak with Gus. When he first meets Gus, he is being overdramatic and speaking in a way that leaves Nacho bewildered. This is the best chicken I have ever had. <laughs> I'm delighted to hear that. No, really, I'm serious. I mean, it's crispy, but it's not dried out. And the seasoning, it's so flavorful. <laughs> He seems like a bad actor who is forcing a script reading. 
Then he goes back and speaks with Gus in his office and continues with his theatrics. When he talks about Don Hector and the fact that he can barely move any longer, he says, You know, seeing a man like that can't speak, can barely move. I wanted to weep, but it could have been worse. Once again, the content of what he is saying is completely out of alignment with how he is effectively expressing himself. One trait of a disordered person may be that when they are unable to match their outward expression to their inner feelings. Instead of actually showing some emotion, like sadness or grief, he is completely flat in his affect, not showing any sign of the emotion he is speaking about. He's hoping that the words he says to others will express how he feels, but they instead expose him for the psychopath that he is. Their own emotional life tends to be impoverished, and their express affect is often insincere and intended to manipulate. Their affective connection to others is minimal. They typically lose interest in people they see as no longer useful. In Season 5, Episode 2, Nacho goes with Lalo to the stash house after finding out that the cops have busted Crazy 8. They are outside in the car and about to witness the cops raid the stash house for the remaining drugs. Nacho knows he needs to do something to win Lalo's trust, so he leaves the car and makes an attempt to enter the apartment. As Nacho attempts to enter the house by risking his life, Lalo seems to be aroused and overly entertained by these acts. He is laughing and commenting as if he is watching a movie, not as if there is a real human being that he knows personally taking these risks. Lalo comments, No. No, 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 mames, no, mames. Oh, look at that. <laughs> He's a fool, right? <laughs> obviously impervious to the gravity of the situation. At one point, he gets out some snacks and predicts Nacho's death, while the two in the backseat look rightfully concerned. The others seem empathetic to a degree, while Lalo doesn't have an ounce of empathy in his body. In Season 5, Episode 6, Lalo is driving around town in his car, when suddenly a cop car pulls up behind him. Mike had just sent a tip to the police regarding the car involved in the shooting of the Travel Wire employee. When Lalo sees only one cop, he begins reaching for his gun, already planning to get out of the situation. It seems that Lalo has a history of making quick exits and getting out of dicey situations. He seems to have a tendency to automatically gravitate towards doing whatever he can to protect himself. In another episode, he mentions that he is not worried about the court finding out about his real name even though he is using an alias during the trial. Not until several cop cars end up coming to the scene does Lalo actually give in and decide that he can't shoot or run his way out of the situation. Despite his being caught, we end up seeing how he is able to escape from the judicial system with the help of Jimmy in the coming episodes. He's the type of person who always finds a way out of a bad situation, doing whatever he needs to accomplish his goals. In Season 5, Episode 7, Lalo is in court with Jimmy as he is trying to get bail for the murder case he is being tried for. Lalo wonders who one of the families in the courtroom is, and Jimmy mentions that it's most likely the family of Fred Whalen. Lalo continues looking at Jimmy as if he doesn't know what he's talking about, and when Jimmy says it's the guy who died at Travel Wire, Lalo immediately brushes it off and looks the other way, without a glimmer of remorse. He is completely disconnected from any feelings of what has happened, utterly lacking any sense of guilt for the way it has affected both the worker and his family. It's possible he doesn't have the ability to understand these events in a healthier way, another sign of his problematic personality disorder. Their indifference to the feelings and needs of others, including their characteristic lack of remorse after harming others, may reflect a grave disorder of early attachment. In Season 5, Episode 8, Kim has gone to see Lalo in prison as she is trying to find out more about Jimmy's status. Jimmy is in the desert with Lalo's money and Kim is concerned about his well-being. When she tries to explain her relation to Jimmy, Lalo seems to be having a difficult time understanding why she is there and what her motivations are. Then Lalo explains the situation out loud to himself by saying, so you're his wife, and you love him, and he didn't come home last night, and you got scared enough to come down here and talk to me. <laughs> that makes 
least think you didn't run off with my money, huh? When someone has a lack of empathy for others, it not only means that they have difficulty caring for other people, but they also have an uncharacteristically difficult time understanding and sharing in the feelings of others. Kim is highly concerned about Jimmy's welfare, but to Lalo, that makes no difference. He can't read her facial or body cues to understand that something is wrong. It's only through construction of a narrative that he has some cognitive semblance of seeing her point of view. Those with antisocial personality disorder often lack concern, regret, or remorse about other people's distress. In Season 5, Episode 10, Lalo goes to Mexico with Nacho and drives into his hacienda. He introduces Nacho to people he seems to care about and love, saying many good things about them in the process. As he continues, he speaks about them and their jobs and what they're supposed to be doing, but meanwhile calls them fools. Everybody seems to be having a good time and laughing, and then Lalo's demeanor changes and he confronts one of the people about not bringing his bags from the car. Things become tense and he orders the kid to get his stuff, calling him an asshole. Despite how much he says he cares for and respects these people, these notions can flip on the drop of a hat. What is going on outside of Lalo has little to do with how he is perceiving things inside his own head. Despite his words about how he cares for others, all that seems to matter is Lalo's own internal state and what he wants for himself, that which makes him feel good. Psychopathic individuals may be charming and even charismatic, they may be hyper-acutely aware of their surroundings, but think and act from a self-referential stance and for egotistic purposes. This concludes this installment from the series on Better Call Saul. Please watch my other videos regarding other characters if you enjoyed this episode. Thank you for watching.